In this video we're going to be looking at translating a graph and what that means algebraically. In Core 1, um, we've already looked at how you can translate a quadratic. So, if you started with the graph of y is equal to x squared, then if this was translated by a vector, so translated by vector a, b, for example, then we would see that the equation would now be y is equal to bracket x minus a all squared plus b. So, and how that worked is because you were putting it into completed square format. The vertex of y is equal to x squared is the origin, but the vertex for AB, for um, this equation rather, is at AB. So this translation vector moved the vertex. Now, if we take B from both sides, it becomes clearer, I'm not going to say becomes clear, but it becomes clearer that if you compare it with the original equation, so if you compare these two, then the Y has changed to y minus b, and the x has been replaced with x minus a. And this is true of any translation. So, if you translate by the vector a, b, then you can replace x with x minus a, and replace y with y minus b. So, if this is going to work in every way, if we had um, the graph y is equal to um, the square root of x plus 10 minus 7, okay, so square root of x plus 10, take away 7, and then we translated this, by the vector, let's say, uh, 4 minus 8, then you can replace the x with x minus 4, still got that takeaway 7 on the outside, and the y is replaced with y minus minus 8. is y plus 8. This can then be simplified so that you just have y is equal to x minus 4 plus 10 inside, so x plus 6, and then take 8 from both sides to get minus 15. So this is how um, a translation can be performed on any graph you like. If you're going to do the same translation to something like y is equal to, um, let's say, 1 over x, then replace the y with y plus 8, replace the x with x minus 4, and then just by taking 8 from both sides you can get y equals again, like so. Okay, so that is how we can perform translations on curves. And we will be looking at more of this later on. 